Well, hello folks, it's Mike here. I just want to welcome you back to Mr. Cast Iron, where everything's better than cast iron. And man, we've got a great recipe we're going to make for you today. You know the Super Bowl's coming on, and uh, so we're going to make some appetizers. Matter of fact, we're going to make a game day queso dip. And uh, got my 10-inch Camp uh, Cabela's Camp Dutch oven here. What we're going to do, we're going to get this thing heated up. Now my ingredients that I've got, I've got some 7327 hamburger meat. I've also got some sausage, just some regular breakfast country sausage that we're gonna use. And then I've got some white sharp cheddar cheese here that we're gonna use. We're also gonna use one of my favorites here is Rotel. And then I got a special for you too here. I got this sent to me in the mail the other day. This is Uncle Steve's Shake. And uh, Big Rob at Barbecue Pit Dog sent this to me. This is the Spicy R uh, version of it. And so we're gonna use a little bit of this. I can't use a whole lot because Teresa doesn't like a whole lot of spice, but you know what she don't know won't hurt her, right? So we're gonna get ready and start browning up our hamburger meat and our sausage and get that uh, heated up and drained out. And as soon as we do that, we'll come back here and we'll show you what this cheese looks like. Okay, well, we've got the hamburger and the sausage browned up and drained and everything. And I've got my, uh, I said white cheddar a while ago. This is actually white American cheese. That was my bad. But I've got it chopped up in chunks. We got about a pound of that. We're just going to pop this in here and uh, kind of break it up in chunks so it'll melt down quicker. Let that cook in here with our hamburger and our sausage. Now I didn't use all both that whole pound of sausage and whole pound of hamburger. I only used half of each one because I'm gonna use the remaining for something else later. Uh, but what we're gonna do now that we've got our hamburger and sausage in here and our cheese, I've got my Rotel and I'm gonna pour this in here undrained. I don't want it to be drained. I need that, uh, I need that little bit of juice and uh, I'll go ahead and put just a little bit of, if I can get this thing open here, a little bit of Uncle Steve's shake on that, just a little. But now one thing I forgot to mention earlier in our ingredient list is we're going to need a little bit of milk and all we really need is about a can full. <clears throat> and so we're going to pour that in there like that. And then we're just going to give this a quick stir. Now you don't have to constantly stir this. I mean, we're just going to kind of watch it a little bit. We do need to stir it occasionally, but uh, we'll let this cook down and it won't take very long in this uh, cast iron Dutch oven. So if you've never made uh, queso dip in a cast iron Dutch oven, well, you certainly can do it. And this is how you do it. So we're going to go ahead and let this continue to cook and melt down and we'll be back here in just a minute. Okay, well, we've just about got this uh, game day queso dip cooked down. Now, one thing I wanted to say earlier too about adding milk to this, you only want to add as much as, uh, depending on if you want it runny, you add a little more. If you want it thicker, you uh, add a little less. And uh, so I'm gonna let this continue. It's almost there. Uh, but as uh, soon as it gets done, I'm gonna put some in a bowl and plate it up and show you what that looks like. All right, well, this has cooked down to the consistency that we wanted. And uh, so I'm, I've got some here already, I've already poured up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more to that. Uh, but anyway, that's what it looks like right there if I don't dump my chips in the floor. Uh, game day queso dip right there. So let's give that a try see what it tastes like. Man, that's right on. One more. Mm. Wow. Guys, listen, this is so easy to do in a cast iron Dutch oven. All we did was took a pound of summer or a breakfast sausage, a pound of ground beef. We cooked that down, drained it off, and uh, we didn't use all of that in this batch, but we used half of it. 
and uh, we put a can of Rotel in with it. We took a pound or a little more than a pound, about a pound and a quarter of white American cheese, chopped that up in chunks, put that in there. We added about, a, a, well, the Rotel can full of, of milk, put that in there, added a little Uncle Steve shake on there, let this cook down, let the cheese melt down, and then you, that's what you have right there. You see the consistency that we have. And uh, man, this is really good stuff. So there's your game day appetizer. We appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. This is Mike over here at Mr. Cast Iron. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, we would ask that you do so. Gonna be some videos popping up around my head here too. If you've not yet watched those, then we'd ask that you click on those and we'll see you over there sometime later on. We'll see you. It's Mike over here at Mr. Cast Iron.